If I were to be honest with you, I carry around far too many business cards. My husband and I own a couple businesses. One is a video production company. The other is web design. And I wanted to figure out a way that I could simplify my life. I am going to share that strategy with you in this video as I create my own double-sided business card to promote both of our businesses on the same card. So if you are interested because you have a nine to five and a nonprofit or a nine to five and a side hustle or two side hustles, I would encourage you to stick with me. If you have not joined my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. Lots of organizations depend on Canva to help them design their business card for free. So this particular design has a ton of variations and templates when you open it up. So on the homepage, just type in business card in that search menu and you'll come to this page. You'll see awesome categories like photography, yoga, music, DJ, catering. And as you begin to scroll down, you will realize there are a lot of options to choose from. So if you've never designed your business card in Canva, more than likely your business card is covered by what they already have in the template library. So make sure that you click on see all because there are additional variations under each single category. So choose a layout that you like, but you want to focus on one that shows the contact information like this particular one under the pastel minimalist leave spa design. It's got the name, the title, phone number, address, email, and website. So when you do a double-sided business card, instead of you taking up an entire side of the card to talk about the logo or the slogan, you're just going to specify how people can get a hold of you. So if we look at my husband's previous design, the backside of his business card was simply his logo. And for a lot of people, they don't even use the backside of their card at all. So it made sense to me to take what he had previously and duplicate it. And so when I duplicated it, I used a different version of his logo that was still in that watermark design. And then I added my own contact information to the other side. Now, as you can see, the layout is very similar because all I did was click here and copy the page. So if you've already designed your business card in Canva, that's all you need to do. Take away that blank side where maybe you have absolutely nothing or just your logo and duplicate it. Then I just changed the brand colors to match my branding and I put my information on there. Um, here is another thing and I just put this in here to not put our, our real phone number. However, I will tell you this, one thing that I realized as I was redesigning this card is it is really nice when you give a bit of a description about what your business does. So for Josh, I put, we boost brands and sales through engaging informative video content, which I pulled directly from the homepage of his website. For myself, I put, Squarespace websites for small businesses and nonprofits in just 90 days or less. So if someone takes our card and they want to promote us to someone that they know, not only do they know the name of our business and have all of our contact information, a way to look at our previous work and reach out to us, and they understand who we're trying to help and what we do. So if you've not put a little bit of detail on your business card as to what you do and you have the space for it, I would recommend giving it a try because over communicating or simply clarifying what it is that your business offers cannot hurt your sales. So I love that I've clarified that I do Squarespace web design and support, 
that Josh does full service video production. And so now all I need to do now that I have designed my business cards is go ahead and download a PDF print file. Now when you do that, it will stitch the two pages together and you can send this to a printer who can use it to print out your cards. Now most printers are going to want crop marks and bleed because a business card is smaller than a sheet of paper. So make sure that you select that before you download. Now, if you want to save a few steps, you can go ahead and have the card printed by Canva. And so these are the steps that you would walk through. You want to make sure that you select double sided and you select both pages that you want printed. So those pages are the front and the back of that business card. Choose the paper that you want, standard, premium, or deluxe. Choose the finish, matte, gloss, uncoated, or soft touch. Then choose the amount of copies that you want. The more business cards you order, the cheaper that it is. You can get it between three to five days for free, or if you need to rush it, you can get it in two days for adding $25. Now I want to specify that Canva has a 100% happiness guarantee and if you've never seen that, I want to show you what that involves. So because they are so deeply committed to making sure that you are satisfied with your Canva print designs, all you need to do is fill out this form within 30 days of receiving the order if you have issues and let them know if you need a replacement, a refund, or a credit. And they'll work with you to provide a solution for the problem. Now I have received my business cards from Canva in the mail. They're packaged beautifully, so it's doubtful that you'll have issues. But here is the important part. Once you click through, you are going to see what your business cards will look like once it gets sent to Canva. So you wanna make sure that all of your images have been dragged to the corners if that's what you're trying to do to have the use of images. So you can see these are the dotted lines where the card ends and the blue extends past it. You want to make sure that you don't have things in the danger zone However, don't be fooled by this. Make sure you click through to generate your PDF proof. That's going to really clarify whether or not you have content that would be cut off if you sent it to Canva print. These are the lines where Canva will cut your design. And so as you can see, everything that I have is safe. So just to clarify, that's what crop marks and bleed look like. So make sure that you scan your proof before you click through the screen. And once you continue to click through, you can send it to Canva, check out within the same editor that you're using to create your card and your business cards will be delivered to whatever dress you specify within five days for free. So this is a strategy that I'm going to implement in 2020 to try to consolidate everything and make it simpler for us to promote each other. If Josh is out and about and he sees a need for a website, he can flip it over and give them my information. If I'm out and about and I hear about a need for a commercial, then I can flip it over to his side. We both can carry around the same card to promote each other. So whether you are a family of entrepreneurs or you are an entrepreneur with a nine to five or an entrepreneur with multiple side hustles, this is a very easy, cheap marketing strategy to help you to tell more of your story. So this video is a part of the Canva Create-a-thon, which means in a couple seconds, I am going to show you the secret word for this video. If you find all 25 words, and you are the first person to let me know, you will receive a Squarespace website valued at $2,000. So grab your pen and paper and here comes your secret word. The secret word is business. So I hope you guys appreciated this little marketing strategy and Canva tutorial. Let me know in the comments, do you have the need for a double-sided business card? Are you still working a nine to five? Do you have a couple side hustles? I want to learn more about you. 
So if you are an entrepreneur, let me know in the comments and if you have a website for your business, feel free to drop it down there so I can check it out and say hello. Thank you again for watching the Bootstrap Biz Advice Show. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.